Okay, in this video I, I want to quickly demonstrate the use of um, file type filtering when it comes to creating a more compact uh, search index that's not huge and that doesn't take a long time to be created. Um, if you index a case in XOS Forensics with no type filtering applied, yes it will index the entire case for you and that may be what you want, um, but it will create a particularly large index if you've got a case that's full of all sorts of different file types that may not actually have any relevant textual data to index in the first place. The typical examples are videos and JPEGs, which may actually contain little characters, you know, like A, B, C here and there, um, but they're just, at the, it's more that they're um, uh, textual characters by coincidence rather than by design. So you might decide because of the kind of case that you're doing that you only want to index your traditional kind of spreadsheets and word processing documents and things like that without spending ages indexing uh, videos and, and pictures and things like that. Yes there's an argument about metadata and things like that um, but I think X-rays actually kind of separates that out to some extent although I can't remember off the top of my head exactly how it does it. But let's not divulge too much into those particular details. So if we apply a type filter, but mo most significantly apply a not filter to it, we can ask it not to show the files that we select. So we can say, show me all the files that are up here and down there, but not the ones that I've ticked here, namely pictures, videos, so on and so forth. And the types of stuff that's in there is enormous. Um, so we can go activate to that, and that will reduce the amount of things that we've got listed straight away. So if we refine the volume snapshot, let's just initially just do these things which um, will basically ensure that all our emails are processed and things like that. Choose a SHA-1 for the hash. Uh, this is only a small image that uh, the guys at XYZ Forensics have lent me for the purposes of doing these demonstrations so it does it a bit faster. Um, but once it's done that, we will have a few more file objects than we had before, so around 600 extra bits and pieces. Now what we can do, and we could have done it at the same time, but traditionally you wouldn't have applied that type filter before you did the volume snapshot. You would do the volume snapshot initially without that on, do all of that, and then you would put the type filter on to do the indexing. Now, the um, important point here is that indexing has been added to the volume snapshot I think since version 17.2. Um, prior to that it was a separate thing up in the search uh, uh, menu up here. But now if you tick indexing in there, have the indexing applied to all of the, oh, well in this particular case it's refining the volume snapshot but we're actually asking it only to do the indexing. So apply it to the selected operations to all the files. Emit files that classified as relevant by hash, so it won't waste time hashing files that it knows are part of an office suite or something like that. Emit excluded files, which you may have excluded for reasons of privilege or some other important reason. Um, and emit files that are filtered out. That's the significant one in this demonstration, because what we're saying is only index the files that are filtered in, not the ones that are filtered out. And in this case, we've filtered out by using a not type filter to say, uh, not the files that we've ticked, in other words, the pictures, the videos, and so on. So we click OK to that. Um, I've already run this in advance, so um, these are, in my opinion, generally quite good uh, strings to use because it enables you to search for particular number patterns that you may need to search for. Uh, the at sign and the full stop enables you to search for an email address. The apostrophe enables you to search for things like O'Connell and things like that, and then obviously A to Z. I'm not going to mess about with any of the rest of it. We click OK to that. And it will now fairly quickly go through all those files that are filtered in. Um, and again, because it's a small image, it's not going to take very long. And then the other crucial difference in this more recent version of Xbox Forensics, so I'm using 17.8, but like I said, it's pretty much since version 17.2, is uh, traditionally you did a search through an index by going search, search and index, but now uh, it's part of the same uh, 
search button, if you like, as what the simultaneous search has always been. In older versions of X-Ways, you didn't have this little drop-down box down here. Well, you did, but it was merely to differentiate between a physical and a logical search. What you can do now is either a logical far-wise search, which is basically your traditional simultaneous search, which allows you to search dynamically for whatever it is you're looking for, um, or you can choose search and index. So it will conduct the search of the words you input over the index that you've just created. Um, I don't want to grab one, I'm just going to search for the word hello and click OK. It finds 108 occurrences and in there for example is the the word hello in this word processing document. Now yes, this is all going to get hits in other files and a lot of it might still not be relevant, but your index is going to be a lot smaller than what it would have been if you'd have just run that across the entire case without any consideration of what it was actually indexing in the first place.